What's up family? Marcus here with MTGEPIC.com and we're here on release day. We have our own pre-release boxes of Nissa and Chandra Nalar. Look at that. Pretty, right? Because there's going to be a Goblin pile driver in here and a Nisa in here. So we're pretty stoked. Um, we just got these over at first turn and we're going to open them up right here for your viewing enjoyment here on YouTube. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up really quick. No, we'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Have you hit it yet? No? Alright, click it now then. Alright, thanks. Make sure you guys hit that uh, subscribe button as well. You know what? We're going to open the red one first. Apparently that didn't cut all the way. There we go. Alright, I'm going to close my eyes, move this off to the side, because I don't want to know what is in the pre-sealed pack. There. We don't want to know what's in there. Not yet. We got our cool thing that all of you guys already know about. We got our, what, five packs? No, six packs of Origins, our red dye. Right? Right? Am I right? Okay. So here we go. We've got our six packs of Origins in our first pre-release box, and we're really hoping for something shiny and nice. Already got a goblin for our goblin deck. Actually, we probably won't play him, but you know. Graveblade Marauder and a Dead Bridge Shaman foil. Let's look at this. Graveblade Marauder, two and a black. Death Touch, one four. Whenever Graveblade Marauder deals combat damage to a player, that player loses life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. This could definitely see some play uh, for the right deck. So we have our first rare. And our first foil is a Dead Bridge Shaman, two and a black. When Dead Bridge Shaman dies, target opponent discards a card for a 3-1. Nice. I am not mad about that. We got a forest, and uh, yeah. Let's get right into the second pack. Something shiny and nice. We already got something shiny in our first pack. <clears throat> Tormented Thoughts. Lots of black here. Flesh Bag Marauder. A... A thralling victor, enthralling victor, sorry. Oh my. Second pack. Get in, Lily. Get in, Lily. Look at that. We would be playing black for sure. Liliana, Defiant Necromancer in our second pack. As I was at their store today to pick these up, I opened one single um, intro pack, and this was in the pack itself, and this was the other card, and I did tweet about that. So, I mean, I've opened four packs and already gotten two Planeswalkers. That is disgustingly great luck. Um, I don't think there's going to be four Tarmogoyfs in here. Speaking of four Tarmogoyfs, if you have not yet watched us open four Tarmogoyfs in one Modern Masters box, click that link up here on the top left. Let's go ahead and get some more greatness. Scab Goliath, Gold Forge Sentinel, a Possessed Scab, and a Kytheon's Irregulars. And something shiny and nice. We got a, well, we did get a Thopter token too, but um, we got this was our rare. We just said that. And then our shiny and nice great foil is a Thopter Engineer 2 and a red. When Thopter Engineer enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature token. With flying onto the battlefield, and its artifact creatures control have haste. Hello. Not bad. Not bad. Put these lands off to the side. Oh, we better say what these guys do, right? These guys are two colorless and two white with renown one, and you can, uh, they're a 4 3. You can tap two white to tap target creature. So, um, I'm really pleased with the way that this is going so far. Um, we really want a Goblin Pile Driver somewhere in here because I want four of them for the deck I want to make. Let's see what else we can score in this great pre release box Brawler's Plate, Conclave Naturalists, Malakir Coalblade, an Outland Colossus, and a Forest. 
Outland Colossus, huh? Oh, this is the guy that, oh yeah, there's a really good combo. Uh, I think it was MTG Lion that talked about this guy. So three and two green for a 6-6 six, six with renowned six. Um, it's the Teamer Battle Rage. If you could imagine Teamer Battle Rage and Outland Colossus. Um, Vorlock, go ahead and, and throw those two cards up here so we can see what the combo would do. As you see here, uh, you could put Teamer Battle Rage on here to give him double strike. That is so nasty. These two cards are going to see play um, for sure as MTG Lion has told us. We've got two packs left here. Let's go ahead and get it going. We're making a mess, but that's okay. That is okay. We've got um, Magmatic Insight, Valor of Akros, I Blight Massacre, and in Helm of the Gods. It's a one colorless equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. Equip for one. Okay, well, don't know much about that card yet, but uh, we'll see if it sees any play. <clears throat> we got our last pack from this box, and then we're going to find out what promo card we got. Jorga Invocation, Acolyte of the Inferno, J Mede Tome. Oh my god. This is nuts. Guys, we just got our second Planeswalker in our first box. And we haven't even checked the frickin' promo card yet. Jeez. That, let me, you know what, Vor, go ahead and put these, this and uh, Liliana next to each other with our awesome new editing software. Look at those two beautiful creatures. Wow. I mean, I am, <laughs> let's see, we've opened six, we've opened eight packs of Origins, and we already have three Planeswalkers. Let me put these next to each other. MTGEpic.com has opened in eight packs. We've opened three. Here they are. Liliana, Chandra, and Gideon. Let's, let's flip them all, because that looks way cooler. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? All right, now let's find out what's in our pre-sealed pack. Could this box get any flipping better? We're about to flip and find out. It's just a common. And an act of treason. A Titan's Strength, a Bogart Brute, an Enthralling Victor, a Skyraker Giant. We really want a Goblin Pile Driver. Alright, so it is not a Planeswalker, which is okay because we've already got two from this box alone. Okay, Scab Clan Berserker. One and two red, haste, renown one. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, if Scab Clan Berserker is renowned, Scab Clan Berserker deals two damage to that player. This box was disgusting. Let's get right into the next one. Let's not even make two videos out of this. Let's just get this going. We're going to keep our foils off to this side, keep our rares over here. Let's just see if we can continue this amazing luck that we have, this streak. The streak is real. It's living on. Oh man, okay, I'm going to close my eyes and not look at, hopefully you guys can't see this, there we go. We don't want, look at this, awesome, actually it's not really that in, in, interesting, is it? It's basically, like Xandar the Legend said, it's basically a copy of Born of the Gods D20s. Alright, let's throw our stuff over here. Can we surpass our... Greatness with Planeswalkers. This is just out of control. Out of control. Very, very excited. We couldn't go to the pre-release, but, but I tell you, we're getting luck here at home. We got Molten Vortex as our rare here, and I will go over that. It is a one red Molten, molten Vortex uh, pay a red, discard a land card, Molten Vortex deals two damage to target creature or player. Interesting. Very interesting. We already made our money back, I feel. Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about this. So anything after this is just gravy. Iona's Champion. 
Acolyte of the Inferno, Bounding Crasis. Sorry about the mess up guys, we had a dead battery so I'm just going to finish up our video here with our last four packs. Getting right into them right now. We've already got three walkers, let's see if we can get a fourth which would be absolutely astonishing. And um, we already let our uh, friends on Twitter know, so if you also want exclusive information on Twitter, make sure you follow us at MTG Epic. We have Ravaging Blaze, a Consecrated by Blood, Gold Forge Sentinel, ooh, another Mythic, it's Erebos' Titan, and a nice shiny Oromancer. Let's go over this Titan real quick. He is a 1 and 3 black. He's a giant 5-5. Five, five. As long as your opponents control no creatures, Erebus' Titan is indestructible. Whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, you may discard a card. If you do, return Erebus' Titan from your graveyard to your hand. That is a pretty sweet mythic. So we might not have got a fourth walker, but we did get another mythic, and we did get a nice shiny Oromancer. So let's get into our third to last pack before our battery dies again. <clears throat> I'm going to skip the uncommons. And no, no way. So we got a foil of vine snare. Get out of my way because we just got another Chandra. Holy crap, four planeswalkers. I mean, we duplicated one, but okay. That's fine with me. This is unbelievable. Um, I just, because of our low battery, I gotta go right into the next pack, but holy crap. We got really lucky today. Oh my god! Another frickin' Mythic! What is happening? This is insane. It's Pyromancer's Goggles. Five colorless. Tap, add one red to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast a red instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Get out of here. Could we have something else in here? I'm not, this isn't, I'm not joshing you guys, this is legit. I don't get this. This is unbelievable. Origins, thank you for being so great to us. Um, we did not get another mythic and that's okay. We get Rage Ring, a responder, and uh, let's just read over that before we... Just go over our Planeswalkers again really quick. Mage Ring Responder, 7 colorless for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mage Ring Responder does, doesn't does untap during your untap step. Pay 7, untap Mage Ring Responder. Whenever Mage Ring Responder attacks, it deals 7 damage to target creature defending player controls. Holy crap. That guy is disgusting. He's expensive, but he's disgusting. Oh, we haven't even gone over what we got in here yet. Oh my god. Let's get right into this. Can we get a Anissa? Can it happen? Can it happen? No, it can't. But what'd we get? A bunch of commons. And it's a Guilt Leaf Dane. Two and two green. It's a 3-4 with reach and other elf creatures get plus one, plus one. Whenever Dwinnin uh, Guilt Leaf Dane attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf. She is a bomb. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, we scored out of the sea. There was two packs at the store, two pre-releases. That's 12. That's 14 packs. We got four Planeswalkers in 14 packs. I'm Marcus with MTGipit.com, and check out all of these Planeswalkers that we're going to show you right now. Enjoy it. Pause it if you want to read about them. We'll show both sides of all three of them. Have a great day. Good luck at your pre-releases. I'm Marcus with MTGEpic.com, and I, without tipping my tripod today, am out. Peace! Okay. Unfortunately, these are not my packs.